sun is shining 24-7. Text has updated the PDF bank conversion feature with new enhancements. I think this new update by Dext will propel the accounting industry into an easier, quicker and even more effective solution when you have to process large amounts of bank statements from PDF files. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. I have used the Dext bank statement conversion feature myself. And I must say, my mind is blown away by how Dext has solved the problem of getting paper-based bank transactions into an accounting system and how easy they have made this for us. By watching this video you can judge for yourself whether this feature has saved me time and increased my efficiency. On my screen is a bank statement that contains transactions that I want to bring into my accounting system. You will know by now that I hate to waste time manually entering transactions. Fortunately, Dext came to the rescue. For those of you who don't know anything about Dext, let me explain a little bit. Dext is a cloud-based software solution that saves time by automating data extraction of bank, supplier or customer documents then connecting the data to your accounting software where it is seamlessly converted and processed. Text also stores the documents online for convenient retrieval. This software is fantastic for both business owners and their accountants. You log into Dex with a user email and password like I'm doing here. After gaining access to Dext and being directed to my business records, I'm going to add documents here at the top of the screen. A sub-menu opens where I can choose what type of document I'm going to add. For this workflow, I'm going to the bank and then I'm going to accept the charges where Dext asks for a fee per sheet or as part of a prepaid bundle. I prefer to pay a small amount for data extractions as opposed to paying for the time spent by someone laboring to enter transactions one by one. It is simply too costly to do bank processing by hand. Note that I have already added a bank account on my Dext system and I can add the PDF bank statement file by dragging and dropping it anywhere in the green box. The Dext messaging system informs you that your upload was successful and that you can view your file in the collected statements. Here you can see the file details and you also have the ability to cancel the bank statement extraction. Give the program a little time to do its magic. My file was converted in a few seconds. As you can see here under the processed statements menu. Note, this sometimes might take a little longer, so don't panic. You can see from all the files revealed on this screen that I have done a number of bank extractions already because this client loves to send me their bank statement in a PDF format. The next step is to click on export on the line that contains your data. I normally use the date as a guidance to identify which file to export. And here is the kicker. You can choose which format you want to export your file in based on the accounting software program that you use. If you use zero, you can select zero at the bottom depending on where in the world you are. 
I am based in South Africa and my preferred accounting software is Sage Accounting, which I am going to select from the drop down list and click on export. Your file will be saved on your personal computer. Let's have a look at the contents of the extracted file to see if we are on the right track. There are three columns, the date, the description and the amount. This is the only information needed to import bank transactions into Sage Accounting's banking function. As I'm expanding the column length, you can see that the description column is not too long because Sage has a limit of only 100 characters per column. My bank statement started on the 14th of December 2022 with a 10,000 Rand transaction, which is exactly what I have in exported CSV file. The bank statement also ended on the 10th of February 2023 with the 43,552 and 63 cents, which is exactly what I have in the exported CSV file. This proves that the export was completed correctly. The final proof of accuracy will be the bank reconciliation process after I have imported this file. Now let's log into Sage Accounting and test whether we can import the file directly without having to perform any amendments or adjustments. Go to the banking function from the top navigation menu. Firstly, I'm going to determine when the last transaction was processed in Sage by clicking on the Reviewed Transactions button and scrolling to the bottom of the transaction grid. I can see that there are two pages. The second page gives me the last transaction processed on the 7th of February 2023. This must be the starting date of the import. To do the physical import, I scroll to the top of the page and select the New Transactions button. Then click on Import Bank Statements which is exactly what we want to do. We have to tell Sage the import file type, which is CSV. The date format is correct and I browse my downloads folder to find the file I have downloaded from Dext. And here it is. Click on upload. A brilliant feature in Sage is that I can specify the date range. I want to import the transactions from over here, which is why I peeked at the review transactions to find the starting date being the 7th of February 2023. Just to make sure, I select the two date as the 15th of February 2023, which is the bank statement date. Although the last bank transaction on the statement was only on the 10th of February 2023. Once you are happy with the parameter set, click on import file and let's see how this goes. There we have it. The CSV file with the bank transactions imported successfully. When I selected the from date, there was always a possibility that the transaction was already processed on that date. But this did not bother me at all because I knew that Sage will identify possible duplicates. And this is exactly what happened here in the first transaction line. I'm going to remove the duplicate by clicking on duplicates found and then delete transaction. Well, I think Dex just released a winner here. The reasons why I think so are the PDF conversion in Dex was easy to do, the data extraction was accurate, no data manipulation was required because Dex prepared the export file in exactly 
the correct format to be imported into Sage Accounting. The bank data import in Sage was also quick and easy to do and the data imported was accurate. As a bonus, I could choose the import dates during the last stage of the import process which was seamless. All in all, I am impressed with the new feature of text. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.